Hi, I'm John Haidt, and I'm the executive producer for World of Warcraft. So John, talk about what you're showing here with Warcraft Classic. We are showing Classic in its entirety. So you can please either a level one, or you can start off as a level 40, because we realize in, in one day's time, you might want to get a little bit ahead and see more of, of each of the classes. But this is all the classes and races that were available uh, when, when WoW first launched. When you guys were in the pre-production phase of making Classic, what did you decide to leave out or keep in? Because there have been a lot of quality of life improvements even before Burning Crusade. Oh yeah, well, first off, we started with 1.12. We felt like that was a very stable uh, version of Classic, so we, we fixed the majority of the, the, the really gnarly bugs uh, that were in the game, but we wanted it to be as pure as possible. So uh, there are actually some, some things in there that, that do not ruin the experience for you that we left in. Uh, we've actually, Omar will probably talk about it later, but he'll tell you about some bugs that he had to throw back into the game just to recreate the same feel for the game. Um, we do want to make sure that we support our Battle.net communities so that, you know, if you play other Blizzard games, you'll still be able to, you know, chat with your friends, so we, we have that as part of the game. And then we have the, the server architecture that we have today for World of Warcraft, so we're able to support more players, we have greater stability on the server side, but as far as what's, you know, running on your PC, it is as, as pure as we could make it for uh, the original Warcraft experience. Was it weird going back and looking at like fundamental improvements you've made to the game and being like taking stuff out, uh, just in just from an overall gameplay perspective? Because like I said, you've a lot of the game you don't really see a game not necessarily devolve but go back to where, where how it originally was because you're like, hey, this will make it better. And then you know, 15 years later, you have this huge experience that has all these add-ons, but now you just have bare bones essential mechanics and classic. Yeah, well, I mean, there's two aspects to, to, I think, to your question. There's us as developers, and we've certainly had, you know, some some battles about, oh, we should put that in, that was really awesome, but it's been, it's been easier for us to have as a pillar to make it as authentic an experience as possible, and so we judge all of our decisions against that. Um, but as a player, yeah, it's really kind of funny, you know, I've been, I've been playing in, we have an internal, you know, company alpha, and there's things you just forget, you know, like I'll be walking around Coleridge and it's like, uh, I got to take this quest in. Where, where's the dude on the map? <laughs> I have to actually go find him again. Um, and so it's, it's, it's really neat though. I think the, the experience, um, it's a little scarier, you know, it's, it's a, it, things are a little bit more threatening th than they are today. Um, yeah, you die a little more frequently, but um, you know, you, you can always resurrect. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's definitely a cool experience. I think that people are going to be pleasantly surprised. If you're a doubter about Classic and, and you try it, um, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now, are you guys also reverting the graphics or are you still staying with the updated graphics? Oh no, it's, it's, it's the original graphics in, in the game. Yeah, years. Like you personally, was it weird going back in and overseeing this project being like, I remember that and that was awful, but we have to keep it in because that's what players want. I didn't, you know, that's funny. I, I thought I would have moments like that. You know, I think I was even among some of the skeptics, you know, that felt like, you know, will it really be that great to go back and play these things again? Because I, I have like old, you know, NES consoles and I'll pop up, you know, games that I loved and, and sometimes, you know, the blush comes off the rose. <laughs> Um, but it's really been fun, you know, and so I can't really cite something that I felt like, you know, oh no, people are not going to be happy with this. Because it's, it's, it's still a huge world and there's so much to do and, and if anything there's a depth and complexity to it. You know, like I play, you know, as a hunter and so, yeah, you, you know, it's, it's more work to go get a pet and tame it and get it to stay with you, but you feel a very strong attachment as a result of that. You know, like the first time I had one because you know I hadn't been carrying it well enough, I'd put it into too many battles, and the first time it skipped out on me, I'm like, oh no, you know, I want to go back and get that pet again. Do you think it would be possible to keep classic the way it is, but continue to add expansions like Burning Crusade and Wrath of Lich King, but keep it in the one? We said 1.02 or 1.2 was the one you were going for. Uh, I think it's 1.12. 1.12. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. And, um, you know, could we then move on to Burning Crusade and Lich King? I think that's the essence of your question. I think, yeah, the answer is yes to that. Um, we're honestly, we're, we're pretty open-minded about it. I think we want to see what our community is doing. You know, if they want to progress, that's something we'd certainly consider. Um, 
But right now we're just super excited to, to have Classic in its, its original glory running. So what are some of the challenges when overseeing a project when ma the majority of Warcraft is community driven? So you're listening to a lot of community feedback. For example, I remember when Beating Stones were introduced for the first time and it blew my mind. <laughs> I don't have to sit in Iron Forge and say, looking for one man, looking for one man for yeah. 30 minutes. This is incredible. So what made you decide to go with that 1.12 uh, version of Classic? Again, I think it largely is because that was that was probably one of the most stable versions that we had. Uh, up, in, up until that point, there were still some, some kind of gnarly issues that might have gotten in the way of, of play. And yet, from a content standpoint, it was very complete. And then talk about when this game it comes out very soon. You have a closed beta and the launch date you announced today as well. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to start the closed beta next week. Uh, and there are opt-ins for that. So go to www.wowclassic.com uh, to opt-in for that. Um, but it's going to be a small group of folks initially. We're basically just want to test everything out. And then after the, uh, the closed beta, we're going to do some stress tests uh, just to give our servers a workout. It's kind of weird to interview because you're just like, it's, it's classic. It's exactly how you remember it. That's, that's what it is. If you played it, you know, in 2000, it was a four, then it's very similar, yeah. if not exactly the same as how you remember it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been kind of fun uh, because it's, for me, it's like if you walk into, you know, um, it, like a historical home, you know, where they, they've taken a famous person and they've tried to recreate exactly how it was when they lived during those days. <laughs> and like, it's, that's what we're doing. I mean, we're, we've taken this authentic historical recreation of, of WOW. I mean, you really will be able to experience the way, the way it was then. And I don't know that anyone's ever had the opportunity to do that. Certainly not reaching that far back and, and bringing it into, you know, modern hardware. Thank you.